This graph has two lines, and I'm asked to find the slope of each one. So for some students, they have some interesting things memorized about slopes of vertical and horizontal lines, and they'd be able to look at this and write the answer just based on what they have memorized. We'll get back to that in a second. What a lot of students would do would be to try to draw a slope triangle or try to find two points that the line goes through and use the slope formula. Here's what I mean. Look at line one. I could use any points I want to along this line and try to draw a triangle or put them into the slope formula. But when I tried that, I would see that my vertical change is zero. Right? This line is horizontal. It's like a flat line. There's no change up and downy. There's no vertical change. That's why no matter what fraction, or no matter how I tried to write this as a fraction, I would have zero in the numerator. If I have zero in the numerator of a fraction, that means the fraction is going to be equal to zero. By the way, that's true for every single horizontal line. Any line that's flat like that, the slope will always be zero. Now don't get that confused with what we'll see next. This is a vertical line. Vertical lines do have a vertical change, but they don't have a horizontal change. What that means is you would have zero in the denominator of your slope ratio, and that's not allowed in math. It's what's called undefined. So the slope for line two or any vertical line would be undefined. Slope is undefined, or you might write the words no slope. Either one of those is okay. And that's kind of funny because usually in math our answers are numbers, and this time we got answers that were words. Don't worry, it's still correct. So if you want to be a superstar and get these really quick, try just memorizing. Always, always, always. The slope of a horizontal line is zero, and the slope of a vertical line is always undefined.